One thing I wanted to ask you about, you mentioned that management is so important, um, that facilities are important, but so is management. How do farm employees play into that, and what kind of employee training do you think is necessary to give them the skills they need to care for animals? Employees definitely have to be trained, but I've got to train management on the importance of good handling. Because when I first started out my career in the 70s and 80s, I'd go and train employees, and then I'd have managers that wanted to rush, 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 and they'd untrain the employees for me. People are always looking for the magic facility to change all their problems. Good facilities make good handling a whole lot easier, but they don't replace management. And you've got to have a management that takes handling of pigs really, really seriously. Now, when you're talking about management, do you mean the management at that facility or management of the company in general or both? Well, first of all, the plant manager at the facility has got to care. But you also have to have higher ups that care because if higher ups are pushing to just to do a slipshod shoddy stuff then that communicates the wrong message to the plant manager you also have to have that plant manager on the right economic incentives if the economic incentive for that plant manager is how many pigs per hour we can just jam through this plant uh, you're going to have a lot of bad stuff going on and what uh, some of the large plants have done now is put in video auditing where auditors over the internet at random times will go look and watch them unload pigs, watch them run pigs up to the stunner, how they handling their pigs. Now, unfortunately, out on the farms, to put that kind of system in, it's just so be so costly you just couldn't do it. See, plants, you've got a, a you know, you take a company like Smithfield or a company like, um, you know, Cargill or JPS. I mean, you've got a manageable number of plants. You know, maybe ten or fifteen plants, but you have hundreds of farms. Right. So there's no way that that same system could be done on all the farms. It would just be uh, too cost prohibitive. Right. So what would you suggest for a company like us that has hundreds of farms to ensure, from a management perspective, that we're getting the good handling that we want One to get? One of the things is, you know, there's kind of three legs on a tripod for quality assurance. You do outside third party audits, you do internal, what I'd call corporate audits, and then the farm has to do their internal training and audits. There's three legs. So let's say if I was setting up a program for Smithfield, for example, uh, then every month a field person visits uh, each farm. And it should be unannounced. And, um, and then you'd hire a third party auditing company, not to go to every farm, because again, that gets too cost prohibitive, but to go to random samplings of farms. So